क्वेश्चन नंबर 57 ए रियल रूट ऑफ इक्वेशन x³ 5x 7 0 बाय मेथड ऑफ फॉल्स पोजीशन करेक्ट टू थ्री डेसिमल प्लेसेस इज डैश सो द क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन फॉल्स पोजीशन मेथड द अदर नेम्स फॉर फॉल्स पोजीशन मेथड इज रेगुलर फॉल्स मेथड रेगुलर फॉल्स मेथड और सीक्वेंट मेथड दीस आर द अदर नेम्स ऑफ फॉल्स पोजीशन मेथड रेगुलर फॉल्स or secant method so any one of them uh, can be the names of this method fine this question takes lot and lot of time nearly takes definitely five to seven minutes five minutes is for sure so this question is lengthy i recommend don't do this type of questions in the exam because you will get the answer after three to four iterations so you need to do iterate i'll show you how to do that so it takes lot of time don't do this type of questions if there is some a shortcut i can express one kind of shortcut it's like see substitute the options in the value of x these are like roots of this equation it's like roots of this equation okay so if you substitute you should it should satisfy so if you substitute 2.74 whole cube nearly minus 5.274 minus 7 definitely it will be equal near to 0 you'll get 0 0.1 so this can be the choice this two they'll not obey you can check b and c and it can be none of the this also the answer can be a or d because this can be root but it need not be the exact root right so options can be a and d then what i prefer is choose any one among a and d generally I, i'll choose option a because you got near to zero so any one among a and d can be correct why d can be correct means a is the not exact root it is the nearest root it may or may not be correct so a or d can be the correct choice so don't do this question in a subjective way just like this you eliminate and choose a or d as the right choice okay let us see the regular method subjective method how to do this question how to get that answer so regular falsy method in regular falsy method the iterative formula is this is the iterative formula please try to remember see in 2016 is the questions from numerical methods from numerical method two questions have been asked so try to concentrate on the chapter called numerical methods numerical methods you got two questions so try to concentrate on this chapter fine so regular false method or false position method or secant method i already told the iteration formula is x2 is equal to x0 there are two points one is x0 y0 other is x1 y1 see y0 is same as f of x0 okay y1 is same as f of x1 any one you can call okay so i am calling it as f of x0 f of x1 instead of y0 and y1 so the formula is x0 f of x1 minus x1 f of x0 divided by f of x1 minus f of x2 see these two will never change x of x1 minus f of x0 so simply numerator what is extra is this this is pre multiplied with x0 this is pre multiplied with x1 so try to remember this iterative formula then you can solve any question based on secant method fine <coughs> it is given that f of x0 is should be greater than 0 and f of x1 should be less than 0 one root should be greater than 0 one root should be less than 0 so first you need to find what is x0 and x1 then you can find f of x0 f of x1 so this is the given function from this given function let us try to uh, substitute different values of integers okay first i'll put 0 then you'll get minus 1 then you'll be less than 0 then you put 1 then you'll get minus 11 it is less than 0 then you put 2 this is minus 9 less than 0 then you put 3 then it indicates plus 5 it is greater than 0 so f of x is between 2 and 3 it for 2 see it's like it, it is 2 it is 3 okay for 2 it is less than 0 for 3 it is greater than 0 see it for 2 it is how much minus 9 so minus 9 somewhere here here then for 3 it is 5 so somewhere it is something like this so in between 2 and 3 it is crossing x axis means between 2 and 3 there is a root so the root lies between 2 and 3 this can also be uh, see you can substitute 0 1 2 3 like this or you can see from the options all the options are between 2 and 3 so the lower bound will be 2 x naught upper bound will be 3 x naught and x1 fine now let us try to find x2 x2 is nothing but just substitute see this is x naught x naught is 2 x1 is 3 f of 2 is n minus 9 f of 3 is 5 so just i substituted in this formula x2 uh, x0 f of x1 minus x1 f of uh, x0 divided by f of x1 minus f of x0 you substitute and you'll uh, and simplify you'll get x2 as 2.643 then at this x2 find its functional value functional value fine you will get it as minus negative value less than 0 so 
means the root lies between see for 2 it is less than 0 see for f of 2 the root is less than 0 for f of 3 it is less greater than 0 for f of 2.643 it is less than 0 so the root lies between not 2 and 3 it lies between new root lies between 2.643 to 3 so that's what I have written root lies between 2.643 to 3 then find x2 once again so the new value of x0 this is now new x0 this is new x1 now find x2 again once again see new values I have substituted then I got it as 2.732 just simple calculation you can check if you have any queries you can post them in the comment box so f of 2.732 I calculated once again I got less than 0 so what I got f of previously 2.643 less than 0 and f of 3 greater than 0 previously now one more value got f of 2.736 this is also less than 0 so the new root lies between not this and this it lies between 2.736 and 3 so the new root lies between this and this then once again this will become new x0 this will become new x1 so again you repeat the same process you will get this you will get this once again it less than 0 so the new root lies between 2.746 and 3 see how many iterations we are doing so once again you treat it as x0 this you treat it as x1 substitute then you are going to get 2.7472 so 2.746 this is 2.747 so it is almost similar when two roots two iteration values are almost similar then you can stop the iteration at that point so you can stop here and if you want you can make one more iteration see till at this point it is too lengthy so two and two lengthy so that's why i won't recommend to do this method so final answer is 2.472 what i got so the right option a is also given the right choice is 2.4772 same thing i have obtained so if you have any queries just go through this see take the screenshots and go through each step individually and take a pen and paper and you do by yourself definitely you're going to get you do slowly definitely you'll get the answer see go through all the steps if you have any queries post them in the comment box and subscribe the channel for getting more and more updates thank you